Hello YouTube, this is Tiro Price 67 and we're back with BBR. This will be week 5 of the BBR. This week we're going up against Emil and his Montreal Ice Cues. Uh, Emil's a good friend. He's a really good battler and even though I've been pretty lucky or I guess like I've been doing very well versus him in recent uh, leagues, it doesn't mean I'm just going to be able to win now. So I judge to be still very careful because he's still a really good battler, a really fun builder to play against. So. Looking at his team, he has a Darkrai, a Petra Runt, a Coquavel, Clefable, Gladios, Ogre Punk, Cornerstone, Hippowdon, Reggie Lucky, and Vivalon. So, uh, the big threats, of course, being like Darkrai, Ogre Punk, Cornerstone, Coquavel can get out of hand, Clefable can be annoying, and Petra Runt, it's a Petra Runt. I'm not exactly. Uh, I don't know if I should be afraid of Petra Runt. I've never really. Petra Runt just really hasn't really threatened me, and I have an Ursaluna, so Petrarunt really can't do anything to me, period, so... It's there. He's happy. He's a happy boy. Uh, but, going into it, first and foremost, we have a Slow King rocking the Rocky Helmet with a Max Defense, Max HP with Psychic Skull, Trick Room, and Chili Reception. Uh, Slow King here is able to take a plus two Quaquavel, uh knockoff, I believe. Or at least it's a roll in my favor type of thing. Uh, Kukwavo is, of course, the big threat that Sloking is supposed to take on. And once its item gets knocked off, it is a lot uh, better to check Kukwavo overall. If it's able to get back up to like a relatively good health. Uh, next up, we have Kiram, uh, rocking the Choice Fire with Freeze Dry, Ice Beam, Earth Power, and Draco. Uh, so, Amol does not have a Freeze Dry Resist at all. Half of his team is weak to freeze dry even, so he has to be very careful of just Kiram coming in clicking freeze dry. So I'm a scarf set just to in case like the Kokwavo gets a plus one with a like attack boost, I can come in and pick it off with Kiram, so that's why I'm the scarf specifically, not something like specs. And then uh, Earth Power for stuff like Petrarun and Draco Meteor of course for uh, stuff that I don't hit as hard. So, uh, if I just like like Dark Ride, if I just want to like deal a lot more damage to Dark Ride type of thing, I'll click Drink Up. Next, we have Bronzong rocking the Culberberry with Body Press, Psychic, Trick Room, and Stealth Rocks. So, Body Press is able to hit uh, Dark Ride really hard after it eats its Culberberry. Of course, this is a max defense set, so it's more here for Ogre Pond specifically. And like Body Press does a bunch of damage to Ogre Pond, you get a Trick Room up versus it. And then threaten it out, maybe get rocks up so that I can break it sturdy later on. Uh, Bypress does like a bunch of damage to it. Psychic, of course, for Petrarunt, so Petrarunt just doesn't wall this set. And then uh, also Psychic does well versus Quaquavel as well. And then next up we have Sylveon with the Throat Spay with Hyper Voice, Psychic, Wish, Weather Ball. So Sylveon's able to deal. A uh, bunch of damage to most of my opponent's team with Piper Voice. Fetch Run's the only one that is able to resist it, and then it's not going to appreciate a Psychic, so I get the plus one with the Throat Spray with Hyper Voice, and then click Psychic. This is my Trick Room Sweeper, as I made sure to make it the slowest mod on my team, so that if the help Hippowdon isn't like a minus speed nature with like zero IVs, then I should be able to underspeed it. And then, which means I'll be going first in Trick. Next up, we have Torn Tornadus with the Assault Vest, Rocket Hurricane, Dark Pulse, Sludge Bomb, U-Turn. I've missed a lot of Bleak Wind Storms thus far this season, so I just decided that, you know what? I am just going to click Hurricane instead, so if I miss, I might as well miss the stronger move. So that's kind of what we're at right now with how I'm doing with Bleak Wind Storms. So yeah, that's why Torn is running out. Also, U-Turn just to pivot out. Assault Vest, the tank hits from stuff like Dark Rye or Petra Run. Or Latias even. Then finally we have Ursa Luna. With the Flame Orb, Rocking Drain Punch, Bulk Up, Facade, Earthquake. I've been trying to decide if I want to be like a Sleep Talk set because if I see Viv uh, Vivalon, I'm expecting it to be a Sleep Powder for Dark Ride. So I thought maybe I can be like a cheeky Sleep Talk set to like take advantage of getting guts on Ursa Luna like that. But I decided that just getting a Flame Orb proc would be better for me for stuff like Petra Run, trying to click. Uh, malignant chain and confuse me. So I just decided that you know what, I might as well just get that flame orb proc 
and deal a bunch of damage with like stuff like Earthquake, Facade, or Drain Punch, and really put a hole into my opponent's team, especially if Trick comes up. So yeah, that is the team. Thank you all so much for watching, I'll catch you all once about. Alright, we're connected with Amol, see what he wants to bring. So he's bringing the Vivalon, the, uh, the, uh, the Ogre Pond Cornerstone, the Hip Paladin, the Dark Ride, the Quabble, and the Clefable. So, if the Vivalon's here, I'm expecting it to be a Sleep Powder set. So I do have to be wary of that. Uh, let's see, what do I want to lead then? Hmm, I don't have removal. So that's free rocks for uh, Hip Paladin at all times. At the same time though, I can lead... I think I can lead Torn. Uh, let's see, does Torn have a way to like... How hard does Torn hit? He doesn't really hit the Hip Paladin that hard. Honestly, I'm going to leave Kiram, I think. Alright, good luck. Have fun to my opponent. Let's get this battle started. Vivalon. This could be a Sash set, but I want to break the Sash either way. Uh, let's see. I think... Clicking Ice Beam here for maximum damage. Output is fine. I'm assuming this is Sash. Yep. I'm assuming it's gonna sleep powder. Does this get sticky webs? I don't believe it gets sticky webs. Yeah, it's sleep powder. Sort of what I expected. So here's the thing. Um, he's gonna get a free switch into something, but I am going to uh, waste a turn of sleep here. So he didn't bring Petra around, which is huge. But I understand why he didn't bring it. Because I kind of smoked Petra Run. But what's big here is uh, unless the Hit Paladon is like a minus speed set, my Sylveon can spam Hyper Voice. He does go Hit Paladon. That's a. Okay. I mean, how much does Hit Paladon do to. Hero. Not a lot. And I could get major damage off the ice beam here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna... Okay, so I should wake up next turn then. Uh, Stone Edge doesn't kill. He does just get rocks up. I kinda wish I got the ice beam off there, but that's alright. I'll just get it off here. He withdraws. Okay, just go like a quabble. That was a little risky on his part. Oh, he's sacking Vivalon. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, alright. So Vivalon's gonna go down to Ice Beam. Ogre Pond. Ah, uh, ah. Uh.
I think I kind of have to go into Bronzong here, unfortunately. You can SC here kind of freely. Ivy Cudgel, okay. Yeah, that does nothing. Uh, let's see, check the target. Um... I'll get rocks up. Okay, withdrawals. Paladon. Yep, that's what I kind of expected. That's why I don't want to get uh, early, um, what's it called, Trick Room off here. How much is Paladon? Versus my Christina. I don't know if I like going harder, Saluna. I might as well, right? Does this get body press? I don't remember. Crunch, okay. I could bulk up here. Uh, Parmy just wants to go for Earthquake though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just go for Earthquake for now. Thing is, Ursuline was my main sweeper, uh, my like trick room sweeper. It was uh, what's its face? Earthquake did 50% exactly. I don't like that roll. I kind of have to go for facade and just tank the rocky helmet. I'm assuming this is. Okay, he wasn't rocking out. No more sandstorm, which is huge, because that means uh, Ogre Pond isn't as a uh, threat. Quick wobble. I go into sloping. I had to go hard sloping. And he can SD and then knock off to kill Sloking. But however, it does bring him here um, to click free try for free. He just aqua steps, that's fine. Yeah, I, I easily love that. And now without the Paladon, I can trick him for free.
don't want to go Kirim, because Kirim is the fastest thing. Uh, uh. I'm okay with sacking my uh, Slow King here. To get damage off on whatever comes in. Yeah. The Fable. How much does Fable do to uh? Well, let's see. How much does Sloking do to Fable first? I want to figure out what this Fable set is. Skull did about 25%, so that's a at least max HP variant. I'm okay with going Sylveon here and just breaking a little bit. I mean, I could also go into uh, Ursaluna. And claim a kill. I'm okay with doing that. I'll go Ursaluna claim kill. As long as I can get uh, Trick Room off with Bronzong, I should be okay to get uh, Sylveon in and start doing major damage. Shadow Ball, okay, that does nothing. Um, let's see, how much Trick Room turns do I have left? Okay, I have two turns of Trick Room left. So I could Facade freely. Quavel is my biggest. This is the biggest threat currently. That Clefable goes down. All right. Goes in dark ride. I'm going to drain punch. Uh, versus dark ride. Yeah, I'm just going to drain punch. See if I can get uh, health back. Yep. Goes back into Kukwavl. I'm curious. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure Kukwavl kills me from here. Yeah, Aqua Step would easily kill. I'm okay with uh, Ursula going down here. It gives me a free switch into Kiram.
Yeah, I go cure him. Um, if this is the uh, Yachi Berry set, then good on my opponent. But I kind of had to do this. I am Scarf, so I should outspeed a plus one for Quabble. He's not Yachi Berry. Okay. Alright, and then we go Ogre Pond, Cornerstone. Okay, Freeze Dry won't kill. However, it will put it in range of uh, something like Torn in the back. Alright, so Kyrim goes down. However, I have a torn in the back of Sludge Bomb that will be able to kill, and I do outspeed Ogre Pond naturally. So we just go uh, torn. And uh, Tornadus with Sludge Bomb. Yeah, that always kills. Alright! And that will be game. GG's to my opponent. I'm just, uh, Ursaluna really going in. I'm glad I brought uh, Flame Morph for Ursaluna at the last second. And I'm glad I understood that if it long pump came, it would probably be a Sleep Powder set. So I just stuck to my guns and stuck with Kira and clicking Ice Beam. So, yeah, um,. Uh, good battle overall. You could have gotten a little sketchy with Quaffle, especially if like it clicked uh, Swords Dance or whatever versus my Sloking. But uh, I'm happy with the result, of course. A uh, good strong 4-0. Continue the win streak. We're positive for the first time this season, so hopefully we can keep it up. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next week. Peace.